Hey guys, this is Santi from the Tech Utopia team and today we are going to be comparing the Anchor Solix F3000 against the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Let's go ahead and start by setting the scene. It's Florida, the power just went out, so that means you have no internet, you can't charge your phone, you can't charge your laptops, and you can't cook. It's just gonna be you, your essentials, and the need for the real power. That's where backup power stations like Anchor Solix F3000 and the EcoFlow Delta Pro come in. I compare both head-to-head -head across five key dimensions using real apartment-friendly gear, and no fridges, no dryers, just practical essentials that you would actually use. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and talk about the design and portability. Let's start with something simple. How easy are these things to move? The Anchor Solix F3000 weighs about 91 pounds and it has smooth rolling wheels, luggage style with a pull handle, and in my apartment, I could easily roll it from my closet to the living room with no problem. The EcoFlow Delta Pro weighs about 99 pounds and has larger wheels, but the side handles made it a little bit awkward in tight spaces. Now, moving things around if you live in an apartment, it might not be the best thing ever, but the lighter, the better. So in my opinion, I think the winner is going to be the Anchor Solix F3000 because it's easier to move and store. Now let's talk about power output and the 3600 watt pass through power. Now I don't own a generator here in my apartment, but if I were to use one, this is very important. The Anchor supports 3600 watt pass through power from a generator while the EcoFlow caps at 1800 watts. That means the Anchor can keep charging and powering more high demand gear at the same time during the extended outage. I connected a few essentials such as the air fryer, my rice cooker, the laptop, my phone, the e-bike, and emergency lights. And it seems that they handle everything very well, giving me an output of 1500 and an input of 1600 watts. The EcoFlow Delta Pro struggled just a little bit. Once the combined output pushed toward the limit, it overloaded and cut up just a little bit. So even though both technically support 3600 watt pass-through, Anchor system handled the wall outlet limitation better, delivering stable power even under pressure. So the winner I think is the Anchor Solix F3000 because it's more reliable with the pass-through power in real world charging setups. Next feature is going to be the idle power consumption. The Anchor Solix F3000 averages about 24 watts while the EcoFlow Delta Pro sat closer to the 38 to 40 watts. And now this is very important because if you live in an apartment, you can use a generator and you can use solar panels. Now, the lower the better laws, the better it is. The lower the no load power, the longer the battery life is gonna be and it can hold out until power comes back. So the winner, I think is the Anchor Solix F3000 because it has lower idle draw, which makes it more efficient for long outages. Let's talk about the charging and the dual solar input. Now, I don't have a generator or a solar setup in my apartment, but if I did, here's what you should know. The Anchor Solix F3000 supports dual solar input, letting you recharge up to 2400 watt of solar power. And the EcoFlow Delta Pro supports about 1600 watt of solar power. And that means that the Anchor can recharge faster with the sun and more efficiently when you're combining it with the AC and the solar charge. In real terms, it gets you back full power in less time during a long-term outage. So the winner, Anchor Solix F3000, because it has better long-term backup options if you add the solar charge. Moving on to smart features and the software, both units offer remote monitoring apps, but I found the anchors to be more beginner friendly. The anchor app is simple layout, quick setup, easy to toggle outputs, and real-time tracking. The EcoFlow app is more technical with deeper settings, but a sleeper learning curve. So the winner, Anchor Solix F3000, because I think it's way simpler to use, during emergencies. Now let's talk about expandability. Both units are expandable, but the way they scale is different. The Anchor Solix F3000 offers the flexible modular system, and you can stock up to three expansion batteries for 12 kilowatt in solo use. 
and with a parallel configuration, you can expand it even further up to six batteries for a total of 24 kilowatts. The EcoFlow Delta Pro supports an expansion up to 25 kilowatts and integrates well with the smart home panels and transfer the switches, making it a strong choice for a whole home setup. But I think this is a tie on this one. Both are highly expandable with flexibility up to 24 kilowatts of stackable capacity. And now let's talk price because the Anchor Solid XF3000 is currently at $1599, which is at least $200 less than the Delta Pro. And depending on where you buy it, in a real world backup scenario, getting more usable wattage, lower idle loss, and better portability for less money is a solid win. So to wrap it up, in my apartment blackout simulation, the Anchor Solid XF3000 powered my emergency lights, my laptop for remote work, I charged my phone, I even topped off my e-bike, and I heated up my food in the rice cooker just in case of emergency. And it handled the pass-through charging better, it lasted longer with lower idle draw, and it was easier to manage during the entire scenario. So if you're looking for a great power station, the Anchor Solid F3000 is going to be an incredible choice. It's efficient, simple to use, and delivers reliable power for the devices you need most.